I'm recording now. Hello, this is one of the requests that I got in my comment section. It's for Chalk. Um, if you're new to Smite, I think Chalk is a great addition for your new character roster to pick up. He's very easy to get. Um, he doesn't necessarily, as off the top of my head, I don't think he teaches you any bad habits. Um, he is, and for you more advanced players, he does do some things that you might not know, uh, that my friend has taught me about Chalk. He has, I think, like, 2,500 worshippers in Chalk or something. Like, he loves this character so much. So, I personally am not the biggest Chalk player. I, as you see, I only have 100-something worshippers on him, but I do think he's fun when I do play him. So, let's get into the build. So, this is going to be for solo lane. Like I said in my Erlang Shen video, I'm going to be doing guides for specific roles for that god. So no longer, I know I had a Freya one where I'm like, oh, well, in mid she does this, but in carry role she does this. No, 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 no more of that. I'm doing very specific things, right? So this is for the solo lane for Chalk, right? So you're not going to go this as, as support Chalk or jungle Chalk, obviously, right? Or mid Chalk. Um, so Warrior's Blessing, delicious. You need that. It gives you everything you need as a solo laner gives you good sustain it gives you a little bit of health it reduces the damage you take to make you tankier right rounded shield you're gonna get that to build in the glad shield chuck's great at getting glad shield stacks he has he has, er, glad shield procs she he has oh i can't talk he has three big circle abilities that make it very easy for him to sustain in fights right so you're gonna get that and build that into glad shield right healing potions and teleport um, like I said in the Erlang Shen video, once you have, I think it's 1,050 gold to get a Gladiator Shield, you can back and get it, or you can wait for an extra 300 to get a Healing Chalice, and I think it's extremely worth it. Um, Warrior Tabby, he doesn't really use attack speed super well. Um, it does proc his passive, but his passive, it, although it's good, in the solo lane, it's not necessarily something you want to th strive towards, right? Like, it's not like a game-changing passive. Like, it, it's nice, you know? It's helpful. Um, and because of his passive, I put Mystical Mail here. I love Mystical Mail. I think this item's fun, and if you're trying to have fun, it's a great item. Um, I, because, uh, typically, you want something that'll give you some sustain in the solo lane, uh, Mystical Mail, unfortunately, doesn't do that. But, because you have the blue buff and your passive already, why not? Um, another for magical, when you're fighting a magical character, I put Gendry's Guard. There's also a Pestilence if you're fighting a healer. Remember, always get Pestilence or Contagion if you're fighting a healer, right? You will, you need to, sh listen, Smite's in a healer meta, you need to do what you can to shut it down. Shut down those healers, because they will win the game. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Genji's Guard, it's amazing. You will never have any mana issues with these, with this item. Uh, I think it's, it's probably one of the best magical defense items in the game. It's very strong. Um, Blackthorn Hammer's here for more offensive. Uh, like I said in the Erlang Shen video, it gives you some damage, some health. Uh, if you're fighting a magical jungler and a physical solo or vice versa, it's great to pick this up so that way you have the health against both of them. Um, Brawler's Beat Sticks there, like I said. Chalk has big circles, right? Like I said with Glad Shield, right? And it's easy for him to proc Glad Shield. It's also easy for him to apply Brawlers, right? So that's on there. I wouldn't necessarily go it as like, if you, I would really only go this if you are ahead, right? Like as a solo laner, as a tanky character, you don't necessarily want damage. Like you want to live, you know? Um, Heart Seeker's on there. I think Heart Seeker's great on solo lane. Physical solo laners, uh, light game as their sixth item. Um, you have five other items that are gonna make you tanky. And this one helps you do some damage in that late game, especially for Chalk, because he falls off really hard late game, um, damage-wise. So this really helps him. I also have Masamune here. I couldn't decide what I wanted to put here. Um, I d I'm not 100% sold on Masamune. I, it is a defensive item, right? I say defensive because you need to be around the enemy to get those protections, right? And when you are, you get, what, 70? 37 of both protect or no 35 of both protections i think listen it's been two years since i've had a math class so um i don't you don't want massive like joust or siege right because there you don't have 
you aren't getting the full use of the item. It's worthless in those game modes, right? Um, some defensive options. Spirit Robe, phenomenal item. I also think uh, Mantle of Discord is also great. Why? Like they're like they do very similar things, but it just comes down to your preference, right? Emperor's Armor is great. I see a hurtful lack of Emperor's Armor in my games when I'm not a tank, and I don't understand it. This item is crazy, dude. The ability, the, the, the aura it gives to per, like slow down the enemy towers and structures or to boost doors up is ridiculous. I don't, I don't get it, right? Pestilence healers, obviously. Caduceus shield, your three heals you, so I think it's always a good option on him. Um, some other relics, I uh, Heavenly Wings, it's Heavenly Wings. Um, Blink Rune, a great initiation for you. You kind of lack the initiation on Chalk. He doesn't really like, he doesn't really have anything to jump in. Like you can throw the axe and teleport to it, but that's kind of slow. So Blink Alting really allows you to like get in their face. Aegis if you feel like you're being like targeted. But Chuck has really good sustainability in a fight, so I don't know if you really want this. Um, magic Shell is also great. Give you, It's Magic Shell. It's so helpful. So ability-wise, right? So I didn't, I, want, I didn't create this before. I wanted to talk about this, right? So level one, you're always going to get Thunderstrike, right? Obviously, it's, it hits the full wave, it has good damage, and it can also poke your enemy if they're standing near it because it's just so fucking big. So level two. I see Chalks get Rain Dance, and I see Chalks get Torrent. I am telling you right now, you are going to want Torrent. Unless you got your shit pushed in, okay? And they beat your ass so badly that you need to heal. If, if as Chalk, you are an early game bully in that lane, and you, you unless it's like, God, maybe like Kukulin, and he raged, and he beat the crap out of you before level two, then maybe get healing, but I can't think of any other warrior at level one that will outpush Chalk. So I think Torrent's always the best pickup. This Torrent's ridiculous. At level one, it gives you a hundred damage, and four um, protections for every anim enemy you hit. Four, and if you hit the wave with it, you you throw the axe and Torrent in. It gives you twenty of both protections. That's a lot in the early game. Um, and then level three, it's up to you for what you want to get. I think level three is a good chance to get Rain Dance, so that's where we'll go. Uh, next week, we're going to max Thunderstrike, obviously. It's good poke, uh, it's good clear, it's everything you want with Chalk, right? And then obviously, five, you're going to get your alt, right? And then you're just going to go from here and max up uh, Thunderstrike. Now, here's the thing, right? You can either max Torrent or you can max Rain Dance, right? And I recommend maxing Rain Dance for when you are stomping and they can't kill you at all right because it gives you good damage it increases by 50 percent by 50 for each level which is a lot um as well as the protections go up by a shit ton uh the protections literally double on the first time you level it up which is ridiculous um or you can level up rain dance which reduces the attack speed if they have lots of Attack speed characters, it might not be the worst to level this up. If you're fighting someone that's an attack speed character like Bologna or Long Shen, it might be definitely worth it to level this up. Because um, they gotta get up in your face, but if they get up in your face, you can use Rain Dance and their attack speed is slowed. So, it's up to you. Um, for this video though, we're gonna level up uh, Torrent, assuming that we're fighting, we're stomping, because why wouldn't we assume that we're the, just the greatest player, right? And then next, you're going to want to either level up uh, Stormcall or Thunderstrike. I would recommend Stormcall if it's off cooldown, if you have it available. If you don't have it available, go Thunderstrike, so that way you can, by the time it comes back up, assume you just used it and you level up, right? Assuming that you have that 90 seconds or whatever it would be with cooldown reduction, right? Before it comes, Before your alt comes back up. You, it might be worth it to get Thunderstrike to max point. It's up to you though. Here we're gonna put it into Storm Call, right? And then finish Thunderstrike, finish Torrent, put a point in our alt, finish Torrent, and then finish Rain Dance, right? And then from here, and it's it's as simple as that. Chuck's very simple, but he has some things that are interesting about him, right? 
And some things that are interesting about him is when you throw out the X and throw the two out, right? Track will essentially like not run, but he'll spin towards it. And in that line, it actually does damage. Um, I don't know if it's the full damage of Torrent. I would believe it is the full damage of Torrent, but I think it's very interesting that a lot of people don't actually know that. Like, you can you can throw the axe in the middle of the wave and Torrent to it, right? And it will you will um, like hit the front minions with Torrent. So there's that. Um, another thing is Rain Dance actually stacks. So if you throw down the axe and rain dance, it'll become that giant area of rain, right? If you are inside of it with rain dance activated on you and the enemies inside of it, so like the big circle, right? And then the enemies in it and you're in it with them, like right in their face with the circle around you, it actually stacks. So instead of it being a 25% reduction at max rank, it's actually a 50% attack speed reduction. Um, I don't know if the slow stacks though. I don't know that much about that part. I do know that it does stack, or at least it used to. I, like I said, I'm not a chalk player. I don't play him very much, but that might be something that still happens because that's it was very strong when that hap when the God I can't speak. It's very good, so maybe it still does that. I don't know. I think that's really it. I can't think of anything else for chalk. Um. Hmm, yeah, those are really the only, like, tricks I have for him. I think he's a pretty solid character. I don't think he's ever necessarily been broken, or he's ever been, like, horrible. Uh, he's just a very consistent character. He's great for new players to learn. Um, so if you have any questions or uh, issues, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, any requests, also feel free to let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!